ES Audio. Hi, I'm Rochelle Travers, and this is the Evening Standards Tech and Science Daily. Coming up, zombie robot spiders are an actual thing. But first... Meta has reported its first ever revenue drop. The owner of Facebook and Instagram was hit by a fall in advertising sales in the three months to July, which caused the first year-on-year revenue decline in their history. Meta's total revenue slipped 1% to $28.8 billion. Rivals such as TikTok seem to have impacted on its popularity, while more companies are competing for ad spending. The company has also issued a muted forecast for the next quarter, with revenue anticipated to be in the range of $26 billion and $28.5 billion, lower than the $30.5 billion analysts had expected. In other meta news... There's a lot going on on Instagram right now. We're experimenting with a number of different changes to the app. And so we're hearing a lot of concerns from all of you. Instagram boss Adam Missouri has said that users' behavior is to blame for the much-criticized changes to the app. Missouri tweeted a video in which he said that some of the more controversial features were tests and admitted they hadn't gone down well yet. But he did go on to say that the app was committed to moving away from photos and to its recommendation tools. So, zombie robot spiders are now a thing. In the latest move in the world of soft robotics, scientists have experimented with various natural textiles, and in this case, spider cadavers. Researchers at the Preston Innovation Laboratory have been repurposing the bugs as robotic grippers. The mechanics of it all were inspired when lead author Faye Yap observed spiders curling up after death. Tech and Science Daily have been speaking to experts about how they're monitoring the extreme weather happening around the world. On a more immediate basis, uh, we can track the impact of climate change in a very fine way uh, in uh, in scenarios such as uh, fires and flooding. So these are both, in a sense, direct consequences of global warming. And and fire risk and soil moisture moisture is something you can measure directly from satellites. That's Alexandra de Aspremont. He's co-founder of Kairos, who conduct Earth observation analysis for a better understanding of natural resources, industrial assets and the environment. Alexandra says they've been keeping a close eye on the wildfires happening too. All of this uh, is is made possible by the fact that some of these satellites uh, actually cover the visible domain. So they take optical images like, you know, your iPhone, but they also cover uh, uh, a, a range of the spectrum closer to infrared. And this one is very sensitive to moisture. And so you can essentially, through these images, measure the amount of, of uh, water in the soil or in the foliage. Kairos collects and analyzes vast amounts of public satellite and geolocation data to unearth critical environmental intelligence. Meanwhile, the Met Office says UK sea levels are rising at a faster rate than previously. The State of the Climate Report also says that higher temperatures are the new normal for Britain. Conservationists warn that spring is coming earlier and that plant and animal life is not evolving quickly enough to adapt. Russia has made a U-turn on its decision to leave the International Space Station. Well, for now at least. NASA says that Russian space officials have asked to keep flying its cosmonauts aboard the ISS until their own orbital outpost is built and operational. Following remarks from Moscow on Wednesday, it's thought that Russia is still at least six years away from ending an orbital collaboration with the United States. Let's go to the ads. Stay there for more news from the world of tech and science. Plus, why your cold sore is really a bit of history. Keep listening. Welcome back. Today is your best chance to see the Delta Aquarids Meteor Shower 2022. It's been glimmering in the sky since mid-July, but today is the best time to see it, as it's close to the predicted peak and a new moon. However, if you do miss out, this isn't your only opportunity to see shooting stars over the next few weeks. You'll be able to watch the Perseids early in August. And finally... The spread of cold sores has been traced all the way back to a kissing boom in the Bronze Age. DNA analysis suggests that the HSV1 strain of the herpes virus, which causes cold sores, emerged during periods of mass movement of people from Eurasia to Europe around 5,000 years ago. Researchers said this migration led to both denser populations, which drove up rates of transmission, and new cultural practices being imported from the East, 
including kissing. So really, your cold sore is just a bit of history. You're up to date. Come back at 4pm for the Leader podcast from the Evening Standard. We'll be back tomorrow at 1pm. See you then.